Hello everybody and welcome to a let's play of the Settlers version 1. This here is the starting screen. Uh, you can choose which type of game you want to play. You can click through, you can play a tutorial game, you can play a one player game or a two player game. A demo which is basically you watch the computers play the game or you can play a through a mission. So today we're actually going to be playing a mission. We're going to be starting on the first level. And you notice here that this here is our player. This is me. And it's being controlled by a mouse. Now these bars represent how we start the game. So the blue bar represents how, how much items we start with at the start of the game. You can see we're starting with quite a lot of items and she's starting with not that many items. Uh, the green bar indicates intelligence of your opponent. In this case it doesn't matter for us because we're the ones playing it. But you can see she's of quite low intelligence. The third bar represents the growth rate or how many births are your... Well, basically how many men you end up with in the game. Uh, the birth rate of are uh, the more, uh, if it's too low, then obviously you can have problems starting the game. Uh, here you have an iconic representation of the, of your opponent. This actually gives you clues as to their personality. Um, I don't know what the particular personality of this player is, but uh, for example, there's one player who likes gold, so he will head straight for the gold when the game starts. So. Uh, these types of things can are more important later on when when you head up into different uh, missions. Okay, so we are going to get started. And to do that, you just click on start. Okay, this is the game itself. Now we first want to start off by finding an area rich in resources, hopefully gold. So by clicking on that button into the mountains, we get a geologist analysis of the area. So it has very few gold, perfect amount of iron ore, uh, above average amount of coal and much stone. So this was a good place to start. Although there's no gold there, hmm, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, let's have a look at the countryside. We see there's some stone around and a lot of stone there. Uh, there's trees there and we have some lakes. So I think here would be a good place to start. Okay, these are the areas where we can build our starting castle with. Oh, and here you see that she has already started. She has found her location. Now to access this uh, these areas, you special click on this button here. Now what special click means is you hold down the right key and then you press the left. So we are going to start here, double click on it. Now to enable that double clicking you have to go into the options and enable uh, fast building and fast map click. We're also running in super VGA mode. So the first thing we want to do is to expand our territory. So we can do that by stationing a garrison at as far away as possible. We then double click on the flag and we build a road until it connects. And we do that continuously. Now you'll notice that the game actually shows you the, uh, the elevation of the path. So if it's too high, if it's going up too high of a slope, it will take them a longer time to get your goods there. So no choice there. Ah, you can see that they're bringing out some stone and some wood. And these guys here are builders. He will go to the site. These men are the ones who will transport the goods 
to the sites so they will be built. Uh, let's start with a wood cutter. This here will do. And this one here is for chopping down wood. Uh, we also need a sawmill. A sawmill will convert uh, raw logs into useful planks. Now you'll notice that this building is slightly different. These ones that are the, these are larger buildings, like your industry buildings. Uh, these require a certain uh, can only be put, built on on certain areas, whereas these little houses that can build anything on the first screen, these can build anything on all the screens. So here we have a digger and he will flatten out the area around there oh, and he's finished. So now a builder will come out and he will start building our sawmill. Let's also build a place for our stone cutter to come along and to use all the stone in this area and this will be useful for our building projects. We also want to find out what's in these mountains so let's stick a flag. You'll notice that mines can only be built in these mountains, they can't be built anywhere else and these white capped mountains can't be accessed at all. So let's also build a flag in the middle there so we can connect these two. Now to send to find out what's in these mountains we special click on the flag and we can click the geologist there. One geologist will now come from our building and he will go there and look in the in these mountains. You can see here that we've got these pegs these pegs define the boundaries of our little empire. You cannot build outside of the empire at all. Uh, to increase the size you put these garrisons and you can see here this little guy here is from our military. He will station himself inside the garrison and the uh, it will expand. So let's just wait a few more seconds for him to go in there. And there he goes and the land has now expanded. We also have a message in this corner so let's click the message and what does it say? A knight has occupied this new building. Great. Okay so we now have all this extra land on which we can build. So let's once more go to the corner and let's build another garrison there and another garrison there. Now ordinarily you wouldn't uh, just keep expanding very rapidly but because we have such a huge advantage, a starting advantage, then our opponent we can get away with it. So let's just connect it up here. Ooh, we've got another message, what does it say? Knight has occupied this building. Great, so we've got even more land. Oh, we've got another message. What's it say? Geologist has found stones. Okay, so what we have here is the geologist will find something and he will put a, uh, a signpost down. If there's a small dot, that means there's not that many resources of it. And if there's a large dot, then that means there's plenty of resources. Okay, so... Now the night has occupied this building. You'll notice that there is a little flag here. Now the thick cross indicates that we are close to an opponent. Whereas this one here is a bit obscured but it's it indicates that we're further away. Now the closer we are, um, by default the more troops will garrison there. So let's left click it, uh, not well, special click on that, and you'll see we've got two men in there, and another man has entered, so there we go, we've got three defenders in the building. Okay, so a geologist has found coal. 
see there's not that much coal here but there's a lot of coal there so if we wanted to we could build a mine there and we could mine some coal another message ah found coal great Ooh, press wrong button there oh this is the map this shows the territory are uh, the roads and the buildings uh, you can see this world is, is very tiny and it wraps around on itself and you can zoom in okay so let's extend our territory again now you can't build garrisons too close together so eventually you'll run out of space but that's okay so I think uh, another geologist should go here this way we can check out what's in these mountains that we've just recently taken over so you can see our builder is getting to work on our sawmill we have completed the woodcutter and we have a woodcutter in there great so he should be chopping down wood ah we have found gold that is excellent so I'm just gonna build the mine straight away because we need gold this game runs on gold and I'll explain gold and all those things later okay so where is our wood chopper maybe he's not here usually you'll see him go out he'll chop down a tree and then you'll see him collect it okay got another message found more gold oh, that's excellent we build coal there and nope it's too close to the other building we're not worried about stone just yet because we can we can get it from here providing we get these garrisons up and ready now obviously our opponent can also build garrisons and extend their land if they extend their land onto our land they can actually take it okay so at this stage we we are going well I think we should start fishing this lake uh, to do that we just build near the lake and we click on the fishing village there and when that is built a fisherman will come and he will fish on the side of this lake uh, generally speaking you don't need uh, a f fish can last for a long time but you've got to make sure you don't overfish a lake if you overfish it the fish will disappear and you'll, be, you'll have no fish now the only people who eat in this game are the miners so your food industry has to basically go straight to the mines now there's three types of food there is fish uh, there is also bread and there is meat uh, the bread is made by first of all wheat farms which then go to a windmill to mill to make flour then the flour is taken to the bakery and the bakery then creates bread uh, meat on the other hand starts with uh, wheat which is given to a pig farmer who grows pigs and slaughters them at the, uh, at the slaughterhouse uh, well um, gives them to the butcher and the butcher creates meat from them okay so we have got lots of coal there so we'll build build there so now we have gold and coal okay let's have a look uh, you can see here we've already got one unit of gold which has come from our castle uh, the amount of gold you have in the game uh, determines the morale of your troops so the more gold you have the better it will be okay we're going to leave it there and we'll be back next time